Good morning, folks. We've got some cool stuff to see today. I said the sun would wake back up this week, and it has. We've got an update on yesterday's filament. We'll discuss the alleged massive wave in the South Atlantic and more. But we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star, and top left, an M5 solar flare and CME erupted from just behind the limb. Most of the flash was hidden, but you can see the coronal fields expanding. We also had a small filament collapse south ahead of the center disk. Flaring has returned, and hopefully we recall that yesterday we said we'd be looking to analyze the possible CME from the filament that had released the day before. The SOHO coronagraphs show a very faint ejection with little density, but NOAA has determined that it has an excellent chance to impact the Earth tomorrow night. It will be very minor, maybe not even producing geomagnetic storms. So folks, how many of you saw this yesterday? I admit, when I saw the video, I got a little excited. What could it be? Looks like 80-foot swell waves in the South Atlantic. So I started checking everything, literally everything, and sadly, looks like it was a data glitch. It is not on any other system, and I mean none of them. Best one here on Null School shows moderately rough seas only. There are no reports of massive wave activity from any ships or from any African countries that should have been hit by those waves yesterday evening. Any big wave perturbs the ionosphere, and there is no sign of even the slightest anomaly there either. And last but not least, none of the Atlantic buoys are in event mode. There is one in the Southeast Pacific in event mode, and in fact showing kind of a weird anomaly, but that's the wrong ocean, and nowhere in Chile has anomalous waves either yesterday. So, the lack of correlating data from the best sources, the lack of ionospheric disruption, buoy signals, or coastal reports of any kind makes me say, data glitch, folks. Last but not least, scientists are looking at a gorgeous recurring nova and using their imagination quite a bit as well. They're suggesting that the system once had three stars, but the two bigger interior stars merged and produced this amazing nebula around them poppycock. They suggest this because of the elemental composition of the nebula, which is in no way unusual for a normal stellar nova. It's absolutely gorgeous though and capable of going boom again one day. We are just four days away from the observer lunch in Colorado Springs, Tuesday, April 16th. Come meet other observers and we're going to be discussing all things in observer world. Rocky is also expected to be there with the big burp. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.